Hi students, this video will walk you through the steps to access your MCC account for the first time. By now, you should have received information sent to you in the email that you used on your application. Included in this information are steps for accessing your account, your new MCC email address, and other resources that you might find helpful when accessing and using your account. The first step we are going to take is to access the self-service password reset page. You can get to this page from the link in the email or by visiting the MCC website, montcalm.edu, clicking on login in the upper right corner, and then choosing first time login in the middle of the screen. The way that you get there is up to you, but we're going to navigate to that page now. Once you arrive at the self-service password reset page, you will enter your MCC email that was included in the MCC account information email. Next, you will enter the code displayed on the screen. No need to worry about capitalizations for this step. Now choose next. For this window, you will choose I forgot my password and click on next. For this step, you will need to access the personal email address you applied with as the system will be sending a code your way. Click on email to have that code sent. In your personal email, you might have to refresh and you will see a code sent from Microsoft. Open that email and bring that code over to the sign in portal. Once you enter that code, you will click next. Now you will be asked for the full phone number that you provided on your application. The last part of the number is listed above. Now click text. A text message will be sent to your phone and you will enter that number in the box. Now click next. At this point, you will be taken to a screen where you will choose your password. It is important that you choose a password that is more than eight characters, consisting of numbers, upper and lowercase letters, and symbols. The password should not contain any common words like Montcalm, the street you live on, or anything of that matter. Go ahead and enter your password. When you've entered it twice, click on finish. If the password is accepted, you will see a screen letting you know. If at any point you have issues or are unsure of the process, please contact the MCC Service Desk. They can be reached via email at servicedesk at montcalm.edu. Now it is time to log in. Let's navigate to login.montcalm.edu. Here you will enter your MCC email and the password you just created. Once you've entered your email address, click on next. And now you, you will enter the password. Next, you will likely be asked to provide more information. This will involve setting up multi-factor authentication using the Microsoft Authenticator app. The Microsoft Authenticator app is the preferred choice for authentication. It provides your account with the highest level of protection and allows you to authenticate or sign in in areas where your mobile device does not have a Wi-Fi or a good cell signal. Additionally, it will allow you to sign in without entering a password, which will be even more convenient when we begin requiring 16-digit passwords in the near future. Let's walk through the steps to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app. If you're routed to the screen requesting more information, you can click Next Now and begin the process of setting up the Microsoft Authenticator app. If you are not automatically routed to register for the app via the MCC sign-in process, or if you are watching this video after already accessing your account, you can start this process via the MCC My App screen by clicking on your profile image initials in the upper right hand corner and then clicking on View Account. From here, you will choose Update Info in the Security section. Now choose the plus sign to add a sign-in method and choose the Authenticator app and click Add. The first step is to get the Microsoft Authenticator app. The app is available for both Android and iOS devices via their respective app stores. Once you have the app, you can open it up on your mobile device. On your computer screen, click Next. On your mobile device, choose Add Account, then choose Work or School Account, and then choose Scan a QR Code. Now you'll click Next on your computer screen. This will bring up a QR code, which you need to scan with your mobile device. You should now see the account on your mobile device. Click Next on your computer screen. 
You will now be sent an approved notice on your mobile device. Choose Approve. On your computer screen, click Next and you are almost all set. At this point, we have two more quick steps in the process to complete. The first one is enabling passwordless entry. To do this, on your mobile device, tap on your account and choose Enable Phone Sign-In. Or, if you are on an Android device, it will read Set Up Phone Sign-In. Follow the steps on your screen and this will set up passwordless entry so you no longer have to enter your password when signing in. So the first thing we'll need to do is enter our password. Once we've entered our password, you will likely have to authenticate right within the app. Once you've successfully authenticated and you hit approve, you will likely be taken to a screen that asks you to choose register. Go ahead and do that. And you should be all set up with passwordless entry using your phone. In the future, when you enter your email in the sign-in box, a number will display. Enter that number in the app on your mobile device and you will be on your way. Lastly, we need to make sure that the Authenticator app is set as the default sign-in method. To do this, back on our computer, we will navigate to the update security info of your account if you're not already there. Remember, to do that, you click on your profile image or initials in the upper right hand corner, click view account, and then you will choose update info in the security info box. Once you're here and you see your security info, you will see a link for default sign-in method. We'll want to change that to the Microsoft Authenticator app notification. So click on change and choose Microsoft Authenticator notification. Choose confirm and you are all set. If you need any help on any of these items or you ran into any issues, the MCC service desk is in place to help you. You can reach them at servicedesk at montcalm.edu via email or 989-328-1246 on the phone. We look forward to working with you as MCC students and can't wait to see all that you achieve as Centurions.